Hey, what is up guys, Minecraft Steve here, and I'm back for another Lego video. But today, it's a bit different. Because, well, as you can see, one, I'm in a different location. That's because my room where I record normally isn't available right now. So, alright, um, I'm really starting a new series, kind of. Hopefully you guys can hear me well. But, it's gonna be more of a little Lego tips thing. Like, how to make simple Lego objects. Just simple Lego things, and I'll show you. I'm gonna show you how you guys make them. So just things like today, we have this basketball. This is basketball actually, but we need just my basketball. And pretty much we're making a little functional basketball game. We just bounce the ball and try and make it into the hoop. Oops, the a bit. There we go. Okay, let's try to make it. See, it's possible because I know what it is. I make it like five times already. Kind of like on the ground, so it's kind of hard to do this. There we go. Nope. Ah, oh, you saw that was so super close. Oh, what? That should have gone in. There we go. There we go. That went in. All right. So now you know it's possible. Let's go ahead and show you. So we're gonna bring this up. Sorry, my nose is a bit a little stuffy right now, but so in the back we have this thing. Actually, this is actually just a little weight to hold this up. So you see it tips over a bit, so you just put this on, and like using it as maybe a little stand for the soccer ball. So as we do a quick 360 over here, you can see everything. It's just pretty much a simple basketball hoop that looks like a basketball hoop. We have that little square up there for you to aim at and shoot it in. And it's, fun, it's fully possible, like I said. It's just a four wide thing to it in. So yeah, I guess I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to make this. So I'll be right back once this is taken apart. Alright guys, so we are back now, and now I have all the pieces taken apart, so as you can see, it's all the pieces that are required. Not so many, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think I can, I, I don't know, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen pieces, that's all you need. So, let's go ahead and show you here now how to build this. So you're going to need one, uh, oh, sorry, no, uh, six, one by twos, um, uh, five in the same color and then one that's a different color and then you're going to need see, you're gonna need uh, my hands are so slippery right now here we go you're gonna need one one by four triangle plate thing I don't really know what this is called I guess but then you're gonna need a actually not one by four so it's a two by two then a one by four plate and two one by three one by four plates a two one by two plate uh, one by six, a two by six plate, that's the right color, um, a one, all right, so, um, I'm back now, and, sorry about that quick little cutscene, and be, that was because, um, uh, you know, storage problems, anyways, so we're back, so now that I've shown you all the pieces, and, whoops, one of these one by four flat plates you're gonna need, as well as a two by two square, I mean, you actually don't need this, but I recommend having it, all right, so, now that I've shown you, let's stop talking and actually get going. So, you're going to take your 1x6 plate and place it down. Then you're going to take um, this 1x4 triangle thing, the jigger, I don't know what it's called. So, place that on like that. Then you're going to take a 1x2, uh, yep, and then put that on. Another 1x2, put that on. Oops. And then one more 1x2. So, you should be four tall by now. So you can see one, two, three, four, three, three. All right, now, now we're gonna do something to make this a bit stronger because we have to have it strong. Otherwise, when you drop a basket, the soccer ball, slash basketball, whatever you're gonna use, it's gonna fall out. So you're gonna take a one by four and place it like so, like this on it. Then let's just get this back a bit here. Okay, I'm gonna just get my camera back a bit now. This should be good, hopefully. Alright, so now, then you're going to take this 1 by 2 piece and place it on top. So it should start looking like a, maybe a small little T, something like that, I don't know. And then you're going to take the two 1 by 4 plates, as you see here, and place them on top, yeah, as so. So it should look like this, maybe like a little robot guy, I don't know. Alright. And then you're going to, okay now, 
I'm actually going to move the camera because the camera is pretty good. Okay, there we go. So now we're just going to put this. There we go. Okay. So now, as we can see, I'm going to zoom in a bit. Oh, no, it was too much. Okay. Alright, there we go. So now, as we can see, we have this. Then what we're going to have to do is take this one by four flat one. This is the flat one. And you're going to place that on the front. Now, the reason we're using a flat is so when you throw the basketball, you can actually throw it and it can hit this and doesn't get stuck on it or in the um, little studs won't affect it. So it's flat. That's why we're using a flat. So next, you're going to have to take your one by two white or whatever color you're using, just a different color, and place it on top as so. So that's just your little white box basketball. Then you, oh, no, best way. Then you take the one by ones and place them in as so. 